I know you don't smoke weed. I know this. But I'm going to get you high today. Because it's Friday. You ain't got no job. And you ain't got shit to do. Does that make him a stronger swordsman because he has a strong devil fruit to help in his? I don't really just agree with that. Personally, I don't think Law is a better swordsman than Zoro. But I mean, I I think the best things about Law that make him Law are his devil fruit and backstory. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Iceberg Snow, aka Coach John. I'm here with my guy. And hey, and we're here on JV TV Anime, where we love anime. Today, we're gonna be talking about some great art the Master Oda has given us. Incredible artists. 1039. If y'all haven't y'all read it, thought it's about spoilers. It. If you have not read it, do not watch the rest. Read this is uh this is definitely a review so we definitely will be spoiling a lot of things so definitely go check that out first what are you saying, Trey? what i thought about the chapter yep i think the chapter, i think it was a pretty good chapter they've been uh shit, they've been fighting they've been fighting big man for a minute i have i think I, I expected that like it's big mom which uh, well, definitely so. she is yonko i didn't think it would turn out like the way it did true but true. Honestly, I don't think it is what it is. I think they just left, left, left it like that. Like. Okay, so boom. We're going to jump into it. Skipping the cover pages because we're just going to do those videos later. <clears throat> the very first page, we got Momo doing his job. Um, saving Ashigo Shima from landing on the Capitol. Hmm. Um, so boom, when y'all saw that, what do y'all think this feat is gonna mean for Momo when he accomplishes because we know he's gonna accomplish it. We're not, he's not gonna let all the citizens of Wano die. So when he does accomplish this feat, how do you think the, what do you think is gonna do for like his confidence and how the, the city of Wano is gonna look at him as their new Shogun? Yeah, the city gonna definitely feel more comfortable with him, with him as the Shogun. He gonna, have, he gonna get his respect. And honestly, I don't think he gonna have that little sissy ass fucking attitude he's been having when it comes to his confidence because the shit's been trash. I think he gonna actually gain his confidence because he did something. He did something Kaido did. Except instead of trying to destroy it, he pulled that bitch back. So I do want to figure out who the hell calling out to this nigga. I did find that weird because... He said calling out to him? Yeah, that's what he said. He said, who the hell is calling out to me? Somebody oh, we know who's calling out I to him. I think the fact that the I city was in see. danger was to his instincts. That was his instincts because he's just like naturally supposed to be the showgun or what was that? Um, I'm not sure what part y'all. I can I can definitely tell you who the fuck's calling out to him. I think it's Zoe since Zoe just pulled up to the fucking. Boom! There you go. Okay. Um, okay. but Zoe is calling out to him this chapter too. Guy. Or are you talking about something else? No, I'm saying he, from he, last chapter. He said, "Uh, see, really? hmm. this is someone calling for me. This is someone calling. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I definitely think that's Zoe. Um, because I th I think the whole reason Zoe pulled up to Wano right now is for Momo. Honestly, me personally." That's just me. But no, I definitely agree with you, Trey. I think um, when when uh, the war is over and Momo is announced like the official Shogun, the fact that he literally saved the city before he was even announced Shogun is gonna be a really good light in all the citizens' eyes. He's gonna make them more beloved. Exactly. Plus, it's his rightful spot, throne, regardless. So, yeah, even more so. People gonna feel like he was rich, like was supposed to, like, even though it was supposed yeah. to be this way. Dead ass. Um, but, <clears throat> Then we get into the actual chapter chapter, the real stuff. Uh, going back to this fight with Big Mom and, uh, and Law and Kid. Um, before the fight even, well, before the chapter goes back to it, last chapter, we saw a Kid do a, a, a brand new move, the, uh, the mechanical bull or the- More trash together, like a bigger trash can hit you with. <laughs> <laughs> Really yeah, more. and it's crazy because when I when I saw him do it after Law just did that live shit, because that was some live shit that Law did. When I when I saw him do it and they ended the chapter, I was really like, okay, it's a bigger bull and it's bigger than Big Mom, but I don't even think it's really just about to like hurt Big nah, Mom that I much. Ain't with Kat, bro. I ain't think she would have said. She said, bro, her hand. Was Hand was no, yeah, it's crazy. It actually, broken. it actually did a lot more damage than I thought it was gonna. I didn't think it was gonna break any of Big Mom's bones. So she that got, was she got fucked up. No, def, it's crazy because when I when I saw him hit her, 
Because the bullet is it's massive. It's way bigger than Big Mom, and that's saying something. But even with seeing that, I I didn't I didn't look, I didn't disrespect it and look at it like when Frankie hit her with that motorcycle and just ran over her face. I, I wasn't disrespecting it to that level, but I didn't expect any like severe damage to be dealt to Big Mom when she got up from that. But like I said, well, it broke her wrist. Been fighting. Like she been fighting these niggas for quite some time now, and I don't no, know. She, been, she she ain't been pulling no punches, so I I I didn't think she was gonna have no broken ribs or nothing. She but. gotta get tired eventually. Oh, hey, hey yeah. it's really like what Kid said earlier. He was like, shit, even rain can uh, wear down a mountain. Um, that's real shit. Mm-hmm. But after we see that she gets her wrist broken, we see that uh, apparently she Ooh, can use her lifespan shit. to. <laughs> Heal any part of her body. She basically like t- like you know how she did with the steel beams, gave the, like, her lifespan to them. And that, like, no, she I know she's using her, like her life the, the homies and shit. I yeah. know exactly what she's doing. Honestly, but it's like, I didn't think you could do that with yourself, but that I didn't I didn't I know didn't she could do okay. that for um. But I guess she never really just needed to. I wasn't surprised recently. Though. I wasn't surprised. I was surprised that was the first time because I was like, damn, like it makes sense that she could do that. But since she's never done it before, it was like, oh shit, where did that come from? Damn, that kind of makes you, that really makes me think of you even more OP than what you already were at first. Because now you can fucking re- regenerate. I can't regenerate hell. That shit is cheap. <laughs> that shit is cheap. Um, That's all it is too. But yeah, cheating. she did that. But she going back into the fight. We see Kid get a little bit more versatile with his power when he Useful. starts using his awakened ability. Um, That, uh, what's it? Oh, a sign where he can make you a magnet basically and have things repelled and go to you um but lost waking so stiff bro. this nigga lost so cold so yeah we see him do that assign shit and they use it in that that live comp it's crazy because before we went into this before we went into this fight i said i know i know the only way this duo was going to work is if law is like the nigga in charge and they just do like some tag team shit, but it's like Law's plan. Cause Law's a, he be on it. And then uh, Kid just gonna have to get his hits in when he can through Law's plans. And that's what's happening. Cause after he did that assigned shit and Law like dropped that building, I was like, oh yeah, that's, that's a cool little move. That was, that was pretty smart. It's crazy because when they, after he said, after he had got upset with Kid or with Law, no, nah, with Kid, and was like, bro, you not my, I'm not your fucking opening that. And kid was like, all right, fine, we'll switch it next time. Even at the end of the chapter, they didn't switch it. Kid still had the last mm-hmm. uh, final blow. But it was a dope fucking attack, so I thought that was pretty cool. I wasn't even tripping on that. Um, but no. It was pretty cool, but it didn't finish the mission. So you think the, you think the fight's still going? It's crazy, because when it ended... One piece, bro. I, I want to I wanna agree piece, with you. One piece, bro. You know damn well. Okay, boom. I want you to tell me the last two or three fights before Big Mom and um and these two. And if you can't think of none right now, I'm gonna just throw something at you. Zoro. Yeah, Zoro and then uh, Sanji. Sanji and Queen. And it. The very the, those the very last two those fights specifically, we for sure all thought that was gonna keep going. Honestly, I was a little disappointed that Sanji fight ended so soon. That was kind of abrupt. And I low key wanted the King fight to go a little longer just because it was so good. Um, but shit, that Jimbe fight, I didn't even get none of it. What the hell? Were we did ever gonna talk about? It? No, it never fucking did. That's what I'm. That's what I'm Jimbe saying. His ass. This, I'm talking. Yeah, but they was they was talking about some talking about, about some shit. important shit about shanks and the fruit. Uh, they were talking. Yeah, they were talking about the fruit. And then after that, the fruits awakening. They was. That's, I think that was they were saying something about it. But after that, Jimbe punched the shit out that nigga. That's literally how the fight ended. They said something about it. He yeah. attacked. And he got stole off on. Cause that was they, they. The last time they touched on it was the same episode they did uh, the referee. Bro, like I'm saying, I mean, uh, it's a bunch of fights. This this whole arc that have ended really quickly, and I wouldn't be surprised well, if this fight was fight over. Didn't end the King fight. King. That's the exception. Yeah. But honestly, that whole wasn't as long as it should have been. I'm with, I'm, I that whole should have been a little longer too, because people was like, "Damn, that's it." I mean, yeah, but at the same time, brother, the, the main thing is the two episode, emperors. Like animated, that's it. I think the, the of course, the big one fight gonna be a couple episodes. They can't fight. That's just not gonna be a couple episodes. Um, but no, I was cool. It was, it was a good fight, the King and Luffy. Fight. I mean, the King and Zoro fight. I was cool with it. Would I have liked shit one more chapter, even six panels? Yeah, but I mean, it was a cool length. 
But I know a lot of other people wanted more just because, see, we've been waiting for this fight since we got to Wano. Um, but no, I think that, I mean, we just like the show. I think that this nigga Law is definitely one of the coolest characters in the show. He's not cooler than Ace. Well, to me, probably to a lot of other people. Is he cooler than Sabo? I'm gonna I'm tell you. I'm gonna tell you what other people are saying on Twitter. This is what I'm gonna tell you. People are saying that now, because of the last two chapters, the last two previous chapters of One Piece, Law shit, is the strongest swordsman in the show, and it's challenging me. Now, when they're saying this, I'm not sure if they mean it from the point. Or the perspective of swordsmanship, or if they just mean power, um, or like natural strength. I'm not sure because it's. I mean, his devil fruit is OP. We all know this. I'm not gonna. That's not like a fucking secret. But does that make him a stronger swordsman because he has a strong devil fruit to help in his? I don't really just agree with that. Personally, I don't think Law is a better swordsman than Zoro. But I mean, I. I think the best things about Law that make him Law I, are his devil fruit I don't think and backstory. Swords, man. <laughs> I mean, and like, but those are like swordsmanship characters. Like, like they the sword, they practice the yeah. Because I've I seen people on Twitter saying shit. They even look at Big Mom as a swordsman because she has a sword, bro, which is true. I mean, I guess. Just but then that's kind of a sword. Don't make you a swordsman, bro. I got a sword. Am I a swordsman now? I I don't. But hey, uh, so. Zach, what do you think? Do you think Law is a... Don't ask me that shit. You know my answer, bro. <laughs> um, hey, personally, I feel like... I feel like Law will probably do a damn good job of trying, but I honestly don't think the fight is lasting that long. I could be wrong, but last time I checked, Mihawk is that dude. What can I say? And still that dude. Into the sword. Um... But back to back to kid. So Law Law's been doing his damn job. That's a fact. Um, and it's crazy because before this chapter, well, I say before the bull incident, before he first did his bull technique, I really felt like Law was carrying kid in the fight. No, that's not feel like personally. Was carrying. I saw other people say they didn't feel that way. To me, <laughs> Law has been handling his fucking business. Law's for been like the last few this chapters. Whole fight until he did, he this. Can't, Kid definitely can't do it by himself. Man, hell, man. In my opinion, I thought kids sucked all the way up to the bull thing. And but even it, with the bull thing, crazy. I was like, you just hot yeah, a bunch more. I didn't, I didn't think I didn't think that bull thing was gonna be as powerful as it was. I'm I guess I'm glad that was something to add to his resume. I guess. Type shit. But I definitely do think the very last uh, attack we got from him, his finisher, is for sure the livest law attack I've ever seen. And I think he it has to be his most powerful. And the character design on the cannon too is Beautiful. elite. That was Oda's Oda does his damn job. Um, no, that was dope. Do I? I'm so now that I'm seeing this, I'm really hoping that I'm gonna get a lot more positive things in kids' direction because I've been waiting uh, so long. I don't think kids doing anything else. Like if they beat Big Mom, he's not doing shit else. And these niggas are maxed out. They're done. So when I say more positive things, I really just mean. Wait. So do you think the Big Mom fight is over? I feel like they probably got a little bit more, but I'm starting to see like these niggas probably end up beating this girl just because what needs to happen to keep this shit going on. If they don't beat her, she's probably just out the fight at this point, like, because it looks like she finna fall down to so what you gonna call it. Okay, so let me and, ask y'all this: Do you think that? Do y'all think that Kid and Law should be able to beat Big Mom today at their current? Strength levels, power levels. Well, shit, what the fuck these niggas doing? They better have beat up motherfucking ass. I mean, unless you're fucked. But I mean, shit. If she come back, they're not doing shit else. If if they were to do this to Kaido, do you think that would be Kaido? I don't think they. I, nah, I don't think. I, I don't think they beat him. So I'm gonna say no. You don't think they're gonna beat Big Mom? I don't think they beat Big Mom. Okay. I'm gonna say no. I, 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 I'm, I I'm think she may be hurt, but I don't think they just beat him. Okay, so you think the fight gonna keep going? Well, no, I don't think the I don't even think the fight gonna keep going. I was just venting, man. You know.